you're watching 8-bit days a week and uh, we're gonna play WWF Smackdown 2 know your role on the PlayStation Classic let's see how this thing runs without any tweaking of course my PlayStation Classic is modded and um, I'm just gonna enable the show FPS so you guys have an idea and I'm not gonna do any more tweaking so to show how it looks like when you straight away just um, put the game and play let's see how it goes Ladies and gentlemen, that's the truth. Anything can happen in the World Wrestling Federation. and of course I went straight for the um, part two of this game, I mean, it's already the sequel. Uh, um, I'll see if I could uh, show number one. Some, I mean, the first game sometime. This really takes me back. <laughs> this is the period, of course, the Attitude Era, where I really watched and followed uh, wrestling. Anyway, enough of the cutscenes. Uh, let's play the game. Okay. Uh, I see the resolution has gone up again. So it seems, just my observation, when the game switches to a 480 resolution, such as this one, there seems to be a hit on the performance it's not as smooth as it should be as opposed to when the game is uh, on a 240 240p mode let's go ahead and choose rumble well i might not be able to finish it and let's go with oh let's see who the characters are Forgot already. Oh, this is way back. And let's go ahead and choose. It's easy to say The Rock, but um, I'll go with Kurt Angle. No, actually, let me just go ahead with go with um, Triple H here. All right. And there, of course, there's a lot of uh, wrestling games on the PlayStation. We had ECW, WCW, and a multitude of all of them, actually. I'll try some of the WCW games as well. What? Ball bearer? Okay. <laughs> it's not even a wrestler. I was expecting Kane at least. skip the intros <laughs> it's kind of dragging already and all right it's been a while so I may need to get my bearings first <laughs> regarding the controls okay now at first glance you may think that uh, the game is running poorly, it's um, kind of slow or something, but I think, I do believe that how, that how it is, that's how it is when it was um, ugh, first released, and it's uh, there's a performance hit right now because 
we're in the Royal Rumble mode and the game should be running smoother or faster when you're in just one-on-one. -on -one. But I do remember exactly that when you run it a Royal Rumble mode, yeah, you may notice they're kind of like, sometimes they feel like they're underwater. Things go slow motion. And uh, there's a lot of loading, of course, in a Royal Rumble. Every time a new entrant comes in. It's um, disappointing because it wasn't this bad in the first iteration of this game. In SmackDown 1, there was loading, but it wasn't this where everything goes to a screeching halt, actually. And might as well just enjoy the match. You probably do a better job than me playing anyway. Um, the graphics, well, compared to today's SmackDown or WWE games, yeah, doesn't, doesn't this doesn't really look like it has aged gracefully. But I could tell you that the gameplay, at least, well, um, let's go ahead and. Uh, rejoin because I do prefer the faster paced of this other than the newer ones where matches feel like a slog actually it's hard to go through sure there are lots of options and it's a lot uh, you have a lot more customization but I really enjoyed the faster pace of this one, the older one. And another loading. Yeah, let me join as Gangrel. And of course, I'd fall out immediately. <laughs> anyway, uh, there you go, actually. This, this is um, uh, SmackDown. To know your role running on the PlayStation Classic and it appears to be playable enough. If you love this game back then, you're still gonna love it now. I'm gonna go with Edge. Let's see. Alright. to remember how to do the Irish whip actually <laughs> I cannot remember I just did it but I can't really oh there that's how we switch directions or target at least one thing though once again, you cannot enjoy this unless a US, you have a USB hub for your PlayStation Classic. Alright, there I go again, that's it. You're watching 8-Bit Days a week. And please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I'm gonna play out more games soon.
and um, thanks for watching this one.